Welcome back to the shop. Do you have a stripped rear brake lever? This bolt right here. On your YZ250 or YZ125 aluminum frame bike. In the comment section, Barkeep25. Uh, after watching my subframe strip bolt repair video, he asked me about the rear brake lever and if there was a fix for that. And well, mine's stripped out too, and I do have a fix, so let me show you. Check this out. I can twist it all day long. It is stripped. What happens with these is they get a little loose on us when we're out riding. Yes, they have a little clip on the back that keeps it from coming all the way out, but it gets a little loose and we keep riding and we use this rear brake pedal and it just wallows out the threads and it's very common. They don't have a whole lot back here threaded into it. Um, there's several ways to fix this, but if you look, this, the swing arms are real close too, so you really can't use like a big nut on the back side. You gotta be cautious. Um, some people have re-threaded the hole, but then it does it just does it again down the road. Um, people tried Healy coils and then it gets loose. So this is how I fixed it, and it's worked really good for me for, I, for probably two years now with no issues whatsoever. All right, here's what I have here. <clears throat> this is the stock one for the aluminum frame, YZ250 and 125. Um, and this is the one for the steel frame. Uh, I know it's definitely from a 04, but this could be probably from 02 to 04, maybe 9904. I don't know, but I know it's a 04. But look at this. See how from here, from here <clears throat> to here, it's all the same. It's all the same distances and widths and everything. The only difference is right here, the mounting threads. The 04 model has a longer mounting threads. And that's important because we're going to take this little nut right here. And that's from a KTM 85 that holds the cylinder down. I know they definitely use them in 2008. Um, I'm pretty sure they use them for a wide range of years. They probably still use them today. But I'm going to give you the part numbers of all these so you can find it. But it's a small little 10 millimeter. It's important that it's small because remember, there's not a lot of room down here. Uh, we're talking about right up here it, yeah, focus and it's close to the swing arm So we want it kind of tight and tucked away and plus then you won't see it. if you put a big nut like a 12 millimeter nut You're probably gonna see it and it'll, it'll look kind of ugly. So now once you use this nut instead of you're You're not gonna be able to put the, the little clip in here anymore once you use the nut the nut will be fully threaded down but you're not going to be able to use the clip anymore because it kind of blocks the holes so uh, you're definitely going to want to use some Loctite I prefer red Loctite myself it, I, it guarantees a grip but uh, let me go ahead and show you the part numbers for these two things see right here it's for a 2004 YZ252 stroke I'm sure it's the same for the 125 and stuff like that but just, just so you can find it real quick let me go ahead and put on the part number in case all you have is uh, access a part number available uh, parts so that's the part number for it right there and you could probably find it used on eBay too if you look around and then for the the bolt for the cylinder this is for a KTM 85 2008 again it can fit up. you could probably find this in a lot of different years but that's it right here and there's the part number for it right there so get one of them and get the uh, the bolt for the 2004 YZ250 and you can do this so let's go do it obviously make sure you grease it up real good before you put it in and make sure everything's nice and clean the camera back here you see how stripped out that is that just slides right in but before I put a bolt on it let me try to show you see how much threads it has back back here how much is sticking out I'm trying to get a good clear view so you have a lot to work with here coming through and it stays out of the way and everything and I'll show you the stock one this is my wife's bike hers is not stripped out and uh, you'll see that it doesn't have nearly as much just she's got the clip on it but it's just enough to get the holes in the clip so I you know obviously I wanted more threads to make sure I get a good bite and most of the bite to be um, before the holes See the holes not after them so that it's good and sturdy and so it doesn't snap on me now i'm going to take that little 10 millimeter nut here put lock tight in it i'm going to put a, quite a bit i don't need it coming loose i would put it on the threads of the bolt but it, it's really hard there it is i got it all up in there it's really hard to get uh get it on and while the subframe's in the way and all i mean the swing arm's in the way 
and uh, it's just tough to get the lock tight on the actual bolt, but you can get it on the nut. So let me take these gloves off now because I got lock tight all over them. And we're going to tighten it up and show you the end result. So I got the nut on the back side. You just take a wrench, obviously. And then you uh, just hold it with the Allen and tighten it with the wrench. That's how you get it really good and tight instead of... Don't use the Allen for all your twisting when it's time to tighten it up because you're more likely to strip this out than you are the nut on the back side. The, the wrench has a good bite on it. There you go. You want to put it pretty snug because you don't want this having any play at all. Yeah, I mean, the, the brake lever has a little bit of play on it, but you don't want this thing moving around. So check it out back here. Let me clean it up a little bit. You can see the, the threads come out just... Let me get a light in here for you. Just past it, a good solid bite, and uh, a good solid fix. If you haven't seen my video on how to rep uh, repair the threads for your subframe bolts down here, there'll be a link in the description on that. But I thought about doing the same thing. I use these little inserts, and I thought about doing the same thing for the rear brake. But after really looking at it closely, um, I don't know if I, how I'm going to be able to get a drill in there. First, you'd have to take the whole swing arm off, the linkage off, and everything like that. And then even then, I don't know, it seems pretty tight. Even with the angle, the uh, right angle drill, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. And I'm not willing to try it right now, especially when, when uh, where is it at? It's in here. There it is. Especially when that's been working great. I mean, two years now. No issues at all. When I tighten it with Loctite, it stays tight. And uh, it does me good. I ride my bikes hard every weekend. I show them no mercy. I give them love in the shop. But on the track, I show them no mercy. And that's been holding up great. So if you have a stripped out rear brake lever, that's how you can fix that. And if you have stri stripped out subframe bolts, just look down in the de uh, description for a link. And if you're not subscribed, please click subscribe. I will have stuff like this coming along. And uh, I'll just keep the videos going. Appreciate it, guys.